today I am joined by Professor Ming Long Chen and Dr. Ming Fang Li, who are showcasing the AF Pioneers of 2023 report with us. Thank you, Professor Chen, and thank you, Dr. Li. Thank you. Very glad to be here. Thank you. This is uh, Dr. Ming Long Chen from Nanjing Medical University Hospital, Mainland China. So I graciously accept the AF Healthcare Pioneer Third Place Award for 2023 on behalf of our research team. I'd like to thank the AF Association for seeing the innovation of our work. We are delighted to receive this award. Please accept my apologies for not being able to present in person due to the logistics of the long distance travel and commitments to my uh, clinical work. So I'm the uh, cardiac electrophysiologist from the University Hospital of Nanjing Medical University. My expertise lies in cardiac electrophysiology, particularly catheter ablation for complex arrhythmias covering each year of more than 4,000 uh, ablations. I'm also focusing on the integrated care of atrial fibrillation management. So I study was intital screening for atrial fibrillation by village doctors in rural areas of China. So I, our study was completed in collaboration with Professor Lip from the University of Liverpool. I received lecture fee from BI company and all other authors declare no competing interests. So, from uh, this picture, you can see that this is based on the national uh, population uh, census in 2020 in China. So with the industrialization and urbanization, uh, the uh, uh, young adults were moving to the city areas to seeking the better chance for a better work. But still, we have half a billion people living in the countryside. Among them, 17% uh, of them are the elderly population. So, but these, what we call the leave, be, uh, leave behind elderly is characterized by five lows. So the number one low is low pension coverage. And the second is low level of family-based care. The third low is uh, low conscious of healthcare knowledge. The fourth low is low awareness of the treatable conditions. The five low, Fifth low is the low educational attainment. And these left behind elderly, their uh, medical resources are coming from the village doctors. So village doctors provide the preventive health care and primary medical care mainly through uh, the, the, to these left behind uh, elderly in rural areas. So village doctors are also encouraged to deliver more long-term care to older patients with chronic disease in rural areas by Chinese government. However, whether village doctors have the competence in management of chronic disease is a matter of great concern. Atrial fibrillation is a well-known healthcare problem, and this is more pronounced in Asia because Asia takes 60% of the uh, global population. And currently, the integrated care of AF management has been increasingly advocated for people with AF. However, the quality of care varies among different settings. There are um, uh, uh, various ways, population with the region, medical resources, and healthcare system. A lot of AF screening programs have been performed in Asian countries previous, either cross-sectional screening or prospective cohort observation, but most were focused on the urban communities or the nearby uh, subsidies, uh, suburbs. No study has been conducted to investigate if prevalence, awareness, and knowledge level in rural elderly in China, which is a big and unique population gradually dissociated from the rapid industrialization and urbanization. The quality of AF care led by the frontline healthcare providers, such as the village doctors, has not been thoroughly investigated. So through this screening program of AF in rural elderly, we aim to provide contemporary data on the prevalence and the awareness of AF. 
the social demographic features and current age related health status in the rural elderly. Our second objective was to address the current gaps in management of AF amongst village doctors. So this cross-sectional study of AF screening was conducted in 69 villages within two towns in Jiangdu city, Jiangsu province. This is a well-developed region in eastern part of China from April to June 2019. And this is the diagram of our screening uh, program. So in, the, uh, in these two uh, towns, the registered rural uh, elderly is around 42. Thousand, but ten thousand people uh, elderly moved to the uh, other regions uh, based on the uh, the the young uh, children were moved out, and the uh, permanent rural residents, the remaining residents of the age over sixty five, was around thirty one thousand. So this is a this screening program. Uh, takes two steps. Step one is 12 lead ECG uh, examination. Uh, this was done uh, by the uh, government-led health examination. The second the step is in-house F screening using single lead ECG. And finally, will be double checked by the uh, uh, hot monitoring or the 12 lead ECG. So you can see here only uh, uh, among the uh, 31,000 uh, uh, elderly people in the rural areas. So only 25% responded to the first step and 35 the second step. 40% of the uh, rural elderly do not respond to this uh, program. In this study, we also conduct three uh, questionnaire surveys. The number one is on the patient level, smartphone use and education level in rural elderly with air. The second is on the uh, uh, village doctor level, their clinical skills, and also their demographic information of village doctors. So the, uh, our study protocol was published in the Journal of Vascular Health and Risk Management. Here's the baseline characteristics of the study population. So you can see here the overall detection rate is 4.3% of all the uh, uh, investigation of population. The uh, age of a, uh, the uh, AF elderly, the age is around 60, uh, uh, 76 years old. And 49% uh, are the men, uh, male patients. And look at the table, you can see that the prevalence of the comorbidities is much higher than those uh, senior patients without, uh, senior elderly without the, the AF. And the Chava score, the mean Chava score is three, uh, almost 3.3. So this is a high risk of AF population uh, easily to develop thromboembolism uh, event. And this is the uh, uh, survey showing that the smartphone use, so only 5.2% uh, of the uh, uh, elderly, they have the smartphone, but only 2.6. Uh, can actively use these uh, smartphones. And the, their education level, almost half of them are below primary uh, school. Here's the risk factors associated with if they're uh, aging, the, uh, the man, male uh, gender, hypertension, diabetes, uh, previous stroke, uh, coronary artery disease or peri uh, uh, peripheral artery disease, congestive heart failure, heart failure and a, a higher Chara score. So in these detected AF population, half of them, they already know they are with AF, but the uh, only 11% uh, of them are using uh, anticoagulative uh, agents. And these are the uh, uh, risk uh, the comorbidity uh, control, the, they have higher prevalence of hypertension, but you can see that the disease control rate is for hypertension is only 76, 17, uh, six point, uh, point six percent. And the diabetes wear control is only six point. And what about the characteristics of the village doctors? You can see here, 
uh, the uh, all, almost uh, ninety percent of the village doctors, their education level, medical education level, is below the medical college education, and they are. Uh, you can see the annual training courses, medical uh, training. So is the, uh, the their frequency is much less often. So you can see most of them uh, around three quarters is below two times a year and some even zero. And you can see that the distance from the village clinic to township central hospital for these patients is around 5.5 kilometers away. This is not long, but for senior patients, this is an obstacle for them to achieve their medical services in the township hospitals. And the 80% the, the, uh, of these village doctors, they reported they know AF, but they cannot deal with uh, AF. And only uh, seven point of the uh, village doctors reported that they have the ability of integrated AF management. So this is very much low. So the implication from this investigation, uh, investigational study is that this cross-sectional AF screening program combined with relevant service investigated the quality of chronic disease care in rural China for the first time. Our results indicate that the rural elderly in China, as opposed to the uh, metropolitan or urban populations, is a disadvantaged population. And the quality of AF care, as well as other chronic diseases in rural community, communities needs improving. So based on these uh, screening program and other investigational questionnaires, so we propose this proposal. So AF management in rural China needs improving. So number one is most of the, uh, the, uh, the uh, AF patients, they are underdiagnosed, uh, underdiagnosed. Even in our program, we reported that 4.3 uh, uh, rural elderly, they have the AF uh, detected, but this I think is uh, underestimated because most of the AF patients, they are the lung uh, persistent uh, AF patients or the uh, paroxysmal AF patients with high burden. So most paroxysmal if patients were not detected during the investigational study. So the second is the F, even some of the patients, they, they have diagnosed with F, but without treatment and much less the integrated F management. So the intensive patient education, intensive rural doctor training and technology tools supporting atrial fibrillation management should be uh, developed. Therefore, we design our three uh, stage of this program. So the number one stage is F screening uh, study in rural elderly in China, as I uh, reported uh, right now. And the second is the integrated care management of patients with AF and clinical outcomes. So this is an intensified educational program on two levels. One is patient level, the other is village doctor level. But after one year, we will follow, follow up their clinical outcomes to see whether educational program can improve the clinical outcomes. The third one is we try to develop uh, the uh, online medicine. So with online medicine, we, we will have intensified uh, interaction with the village doctors. So to help them to have the uh, integrated AF care delivered to their uh, patients in the uh, uh, villages. So this is Miracle AF China. So a novel, a novel model of integrated care of older patients with AF in rural uh, China. So finally, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the conclusions of our program. This is the uh, conclusion from our first uh, stage, the AF screening program. In rural elderly, AF was identified in 4.3% with poor AF knowledge and awareness. The current village doctor dominant rural health care system in China is far from delivering optimal AF management. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Chen. Um, there is an urgent need to support these rural clinics and empower the village doctors 
in optimising the care of AF patients. What more do you think should be done to improve detection of AF generally, especially in the rural areas? So uh, you mean the, uh, uh, I think the uh, devices, high-tech devices, wearable devices should be used for the uh, uh, village doctors to uh, increase the detection rate of the uh, senior, of the uh, rural elderly in their region. So currently uh, we are building up the platforms. So this is a, a village doctor, uh, platform so we th this is this platform is led by the uh, AF uh, specialist so through this uh, platform and also with the uh, the uh, uh, this is the uh, intelligent uh, village clinic uh, bu building so we will deliver a lot of wearable uh, devices and also visible devices uh, videos, and digital uh, devices. So through this way, we can increase the uh, AF detection rate, and also we can deliver our uh, knowledge through the uh, uh, village doctors to their patients. Okay, thank you. What role could the AF Association play in raising awareness and detection of AF, leading to protecting against an AF-related stroke? As you may know, we have our own Know Your Pulse to Know Your Heart Rhythm campaign, and it could save your life. Many of our resources are translated into Chinese. Could we perhaps partner with you to increase detection and protection in the future? Yes, actually, I think F Association has um, provided great effort for increasing the awareness and the protection of AFib. And actually in China, we have our national AFib association and uh, we are doing a lot to standardize the diagnosis and treatment of AFib and ensuring, ensuring every AFib patient receive the most appropriate treatment. So I think it's better if our national AFib association can have a collaboration with the global AFib Association so we can change our experience and uh, we can have a lot of uh, um, campaign and we, we, we join together to have a public awareness campaign and uh, to increase the public awareness especially in the rural area because and I think it's be better to use our local language especially in rural area because not for the rural area, uh, the, the patients, they maybe, they can only understand their dialect. So I think they have, the, the, our, our, my suggestion is that our National AFib Association have a great collaboration with the Global AFib Association. I have three uh, points, Grace. So I think the uh, number one is we should uh, education uh, those uh, rural elderly to increase their awareness of AF. And then the second step is we should increase the detection rate of AF. The third one is that we should training, we, we, we should train our village doctors to deliver optimal uh, AF management to their patients. Marvelous. Thank you so much to you both. And we certainly will explore those ways of collaborating as everybody all over the world should be made aware of atrial fibrillation and the consequences it can have of the condition. So I would like to say once again, congratulations and thank you very much for your time from the, on behalf of the AF Association. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.